Good evening. Thank you so much for coming today. I'm so thrilled and so happy to be here. Thank you, Jonathan. Above all, you are the man. <laughs> um, I'm very, very happy to be here because of one reason. I'm not tech. I'm not an IT person. I'm actually a business person, you would say, or an artist or an author, but I'm not a tech person. And I managed to um, create my website, and that's what I'm here to share with you today. I have been supported and uh, guided by all these great guys. Um, they have done a great job, and I'm very thankful to all of them, WordPress, Jetpack, WooCommerce, etc. I'm a power coach by profession, um, an executive coach, and uh, a mindfulness coach as well. The type of uh, work that I do has to do with the brain and the emotions. My Twitter handle is Bindu Power Coach, in case you want to tweet some stuff today. My website is bindupowercoaching.com with the S. And um, the hashtag, uh, you know, if you want to tweet, it can also be Bindu Power Coach. I um, work um, primarily with uh, business professionals and companies. I help them unleash their unlimited potential, um, increase uh, their brain potential, and help them connect with their intuitive power to achieve whatever is yet not even possible. Uh, in addition to all that, I'm able to um, help them cope up with stress management, time management, money management, and many other areas. So I'm going to share my story today, um, my story with WordPress. There is a sentence I, um, I love and that I live by, by Seneca. It does, if one does not know to which port one is sailing, no wind is favorable. And there is a podcast uh, that you can um, take a look on my website that talks precisely about that. And the reason why I bring this up is because we get distracted very often. And those distractions are the ones that do not allow us to focus on what's really important. So here I was um, bringing back uh, to my attention um, what was important to me at that point. As a self-made author, I um, have my books on Amazon, on iBooks, at the Harvard Bookstore, in India. I, um, I have published several books, and one of them I brought it, brought it here. Um, I'll tell you later why. The first book that I published was an Amazon bestseller. It's actually free uh, on Amazon. Um, and I was thrilled. I was thrilled again that, you know, I was a self-publisher and the book was up there. So something was going on. Something that I was doing was really helping me. So I said, okay, I'm a business, I'm an executive. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing all this stuff, but something was really bothering me my website. My website was a mess, a total clutter. Um, uh, by the way, you can see that the pod podcast Driving Through Distractions, the one I was telling you about before, is a really nice one, at least for me, I like it. Um, and um, I decided I wanted to focus on my website and on my message online. These two points were very important um, to me. Um, as you can see, the website had everything on it. The front page was just full of stuff. And as I was publishing more and more books, all the books were going to the front page. I didn't know where to put them. My website started in 2011. And someone w w actually started it. And in 2014-15, that person said, you know, I cannot continue managing your website. You have to figure it out. I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> we were quite advanced 
I had 850 posts. I had so much going on. How would I manage my website? So I had three options. Either I would quit my website, or either I would hire somebody, or either I would try to do it myself. So I decided I would hire somebody. Um, and to me, it was really important, that consistency between what I was saying, what I was doing, and what I was thinking. So um, obviously, when I heard, hired this person, there was no consistency. And I had to be behind this person. You know, this is the way I want it. Um, so it would take me double the time to actually um, guide this person into what I wanted and pay him. So it was too much. So there is another quote that I live by all my life, which is fix the goal and each day strive your best to attain it. And um, ever since I have applied this quote, uh, things work for me. So every day is a new beginning, and there is always a chance to begin again um, doing what you really want to do. So what's, what, what was going on with my website? There were a couple of unknown uh, unknowns, unknown variables. One, it was clutter. My, it was out of date, it was very old, slow user interface. The contact form was not working, people were contacting me and they couldn't get in touch. Um, the video embedded was not working, the JavaScript and the flash out of there was coming out. And you know, I was not tech, so everything I'm talking about right now, I can talk about it. But at that time, I had no idea what was going on. The front page was a clutter as we saw, but there was there was a very unclear message as to what I was doing. You know, what was my profession? What was I doing? So the goals for my side were very clear. I needed a clear message. I, I needed people to know who I was, what, why I was doing what I was doing. And, you know, everybody was with these modern websites and I was with this old, old, outdated one. So I said, I want a new modern website. And obviously I want my contact form to work so that people can um, get in touch with me. As the last, last goal, I wanted an online store because who wouldn't want their own books to be sold in their own website as to both two third parties. So here I was when I found Jetpack. Today, Jetpack is my hero. I invested over a thousand hours. I, I just cannot even forget each step of the way that Jetpack was um, adding a little more of their wisdom into every step that I was taking. It was so meaningful to actually be able to be guided because at that point, I had no idea. So I finally built up a new website uh, with the parallax um, touch. I rethemed it when I told Jonathan about this in the after party of the WordCamp. He was surprised. And I was surprised myself because I was so thrilled. And it was mobile friendly, it had CEO, it had backed up. I'm going to talk about all this now. But basically, I achieved that dream that was just in my imagination about a month ago. So coming back to Jetpack, I um, empowered myself with amazing plugins. I, um, I definitely started using all of the resources that they had, uh, but especially the happiness engineers. And I, I wanted to give credit to James Huff because he really played a major impact. Um, I was just, you know, one more user emailing him support. I was on the free Jetpack plan, but he was answering all the time. And that really helped me going, which is why I upgraded to personal and then to pro recently. Obviously, I feel very, very clean with Akismet and very, very protected with WordPress. Um, Akismet, for those who, you, who don't know, it just uh, takes care of your spam and WordPress of your security and backups. Yoast was taking care of my uncluttered page by helping me start to build up cornerstone pages. I had a very messed up menu and the navigation panel was also a mess. So I started with the menus and with the navigation panel. And I'm just going to go very quickly, you know, th through all this so that if you have any questions, we'll just focus on those questions that you have. So coming back to WordPress, I, um, I was not very happy. I had my daily scans. 
you know, I was in touch with my server. I didn't even know what a server was. So I was in touch with my server and I told them like, you know, I need to give my credentials to WordPress because Jetpack needs my credentials, SSH and all that. So when I saw all those green lights up there, I was so happy. I'm like, okay, now I'm ready to go because now I'm protected, um, you know, and my website is, is, is taking care, taking care of that. So with one click restore, I'm backups, I definitely felt more at ease to continue. And I kept on doing, and I will continue on WordPress. I have a lot more projects going on. But as for now, I'm gonna share what I've done. And this is just one or two months ago. Um, I basically went from a business person to a WordPress user. I was a WordPress user since 2011, but now I was a real, almost, web designer, web developer, without knowing any coding, right? So I felt empowered, I felt in control, everything was flowing, especially when I rethemed. That was the major turn. Um, when I had all this going, uh, suddenly, <coughs> Boss Universe, I mean, the, the, the dashboard in my WordPress announced the word camp. And I'm like, oh my God, and it's at BU. So I'm an alumni from BU and you know, I go there all the time, and for me, it was, it was like my second house. I'm like, it cannot happen. This is too good. It's just at home. <laughs> so I got ready, and I was so looking forward. I was such a good prize, by the way, and I meet all these great people who were encouraging me. For example, Matt from GoDaddy, uh, after I told him that I had translated my website for seven years, he said, oh my God. So he gave me a translation badge. Of course, all of that was just a recognition to the work I had done. It was over a thousand hours, and these people were recognizing the fact that you had moved on. So uh, there is when I met John in the after party, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna continue, because what happened that day was very interesting. While I was at the WordCamp, I, um, I met, um, I met who later became my mentor for two hours, at the WooCommerce desk, and Nicole was so good at guiding me towards integrating WooCommerce in my website. I was so thrilled that, I, and by the way, it happened in 10 minutes. She's like, I've never ever integrated WooCommerce on somebody's site in 10 minutes. I'm like, I think I might have done some work in the past. I've invested so much time, I might have you know, prepared the whole uh, platform, and, but she was shocked. She helped me out, and on the spot, that very same day, I uploaded my books and my webinars. I met John that night, and everything started rolling even more. So I went from WordPress now back to business. I was selling my books online, my webinars online, and there's so much more I would like to put there, but I was so happy because all of the goals I had initially, retheming it, speed, SEO, you know, a secure SSL, all of those issues, all of those points, all of those goals were getting their final destination. We were, we were getting it. And the WooCommerce integration was absolutely amazing. I started to actually accept payments online. I was able to have my customers receive an invoice and my customers were able to pay through via credit card. For me, it was like, oh my God, this is amazing. I was doing it on my own without any coding developer, and I just realized that I could do it. I, WordPress has enough knowledge base to help you get to wherever you want to go. So now I had a safe and secure e-commerce site. Um, I, I was able to even take in-person credit card payments immediately. In fact, I've brought my books, as I said before, so that if you want to practice, we can do it. You can buy my books through my mobile app, and that's connected with my website through all of the WooCommerce integration, and it happens in three seconds. Uh, if you don't want to do that, you can purchase any of the books, there are books at 99 cents, just for the sake of seeing how fast it is. Um, so I'm uh, very happy that now, instead of just having my books on Amazon or having my books on iBooks, they are now on my website. I think that's just amazing. So now my customers receive um, 
an order when, they, when it's complete. I feel very professional because I'm like, wow, look at those orders. They're amazing. It just, it's just that you're getting what you really want to achieve. It's happening. So when it's happening, you feel good. So what's the, my, I mean, what's the, my, my, I would say, timeline? In, on April 5th, I hire a professional. I pay him money. I get nothing done. May 3rd, I decide I'm going to go through Jetpack. I go through Jetpack Professional, so I upgrade. And on June 30th, I completely rethink my web page. On July 9th, I download Yoast Premium. And oh my God, that was amazing. I thought, you know, let me try it out. I have a month. And, you know, if it doesn't work out, I'll just come out. But they were so good at, you know, guiding me on my posts, um, their internal, external linkings. Redirects were amazing. So now I didn't have to worry about the 404s. And so the WordCamp Boston marked a major um, milestone when I uh, integrate WooCommerce. And from then on, PayPal, Stripe, and so many other, like Apple Pay, was integrated in the website. Now, after upgrading to Pro, something even more amazing happened, which I'll tell you in a moment. But basically, now, I was completely powered by all the big guys. Uh, WordPress, Jetpack, Yoast, and e-commerce. The website was looking completely different to what it was before with very few simple steps, which took me a long time to do because I didn't know. But maybe I should write a book about WordPress simple steps, maybe nine page. I can tell you that would work, and I can sell it for 99 cents. That could be an, something to think about. So what, what I wanted to tell you earlier um, about the payment button, the payment button. John Maeda recently um, uh, released the simple payment button through PayPal. So all the bloggers who don't have WooCommerce integration can actually now have accept payments online through the simple payment button. Of course, this is only for pro and premium users, but it's a great feature that you can add to your website. So now I'm done with my website, I can do my business coaching, I can send my books online, I'm all set to go, I'm so happy. And I achieved my dream in less than two months. Obviously there were many more hours before that, but the whole core of work happened right then. So my final tips for today, I, as I said, I wanna leave a lot of time for questions and answers uh, in case you want me to go through something, but my final tips is if you are new to WordPress, to go really slowly and to read everything very carefully. If you are, you know, if you, all of you know everything about WordPress, then thank you for listening. Um, uh, for happiness engineers, make sure you ask very well research questions, because they're doing such a great job in providing you so many answers, so a lot of people just ask questions for the sake of asking questions, they're wasting their time. But if you read nine hours of knowledge base and then you have a question, go ahead and ask them a question. Because then, even your question is going to look intelligent because it's well researched. So don't waste their time, don't waste your time, focus on what you can want to get done. And I can assure you, you will get to the final website that will take you to your dreams. And never give up. While well, during those um, uh, transitions, you don't understand something. There is enough knowledge base that can guide you, take you there. So with this, I end my presentation. But before I end and I ask you questions, I'm going to take you very briefly through my website. What the end result is today, I don't have the, uh, what, the old website, but I can take you to the new website. So by the way, I'm um, working on the speed, depending on what Wi-Fi we are on or uh, what IP or it goes faster or not. So you can see here, I have two buttons, contact and meeting. This takes the user directly into what, where I want to head. So, so maybe Tom can help me here. Okay, no worries. So we'll see the website later. Sure. scared it away. I'm sorry. The website was so good. 
The, the website was so good. But you couldn't see the website, right? No, we couldn't. Ah, okay. Go on uh, to the website. Okay. I think you can drag it to the other side. Okay. So I think, is it two screen? Like, can you drag it? Um, she wants to show it. I really don't know. Um, Okay, great. Thank you, Tom, uh, John. So, I'm glad I could help. Of course, of course you could. So here we are watching, uh, this is not the actual, so here we have it um, smaller screen, but when you see it on your own desktop or on your own mobile, you'll see it bigger. But the, what I want to show you is the parallax effect. Um, you saw those pictures of my old website. They look so crappy, oh my God. So now we have all this going. You know, it's just modern, fast, normal. It's, it's a good website, it's fine. And I can have all my testimonials here in, um, they're not loading up for some reason, but yeah, I can have my testimonials here in a very clean, uncluttered way, my blogs and, and um, subscription to my Power Newsletter. If we come here, you will see that there is this new area that I integrated. The shop area, now um, books, for example, webinars. So if I go here, libros, these are books in Spanish. Books are books in English, of course. So you see all these books that were in third-party applications and third-party companies, now they are with me, which is what it should be, right? Um, with the new PayPal button, I'm integrating selling sessions online, which means that if somebody wants to hire me, they can pay through PayPal, through the payment, PayPal button. I'm working on that, but I think this is great. Um, by the way, Living in Mindfulness, which is um, right here for sale if you want it. Um, there is also an ebook version online if you don't want to buy the paperback or you want to try it. So that's all for today, and um, open for any questions if they are. Yeah. Sorry, could you repeat that again? Sure. So. That, that's a very good question because um, I would say the web server, and then it depends on what plans you want to be in. You want to be on um, free plans, you want to be on professional plans, business plans, premium plans. My advice is always go with the free plan first. Try it out, see if you like it. Once you like it, you go upgrading. A lot of people just upgrade one shot and then they don't like it or maybe they're not going to even use it. But for example, I started with Jetpack Free. I loved it, oh my God. I was like, this is my hero. So I kept growing with them. And the same with Yoast. Did I answer your question? So about, it can be three, 400 per year on a low, on a low budget. But it can definitely, and even lower you can do it 450, 200. It depends on what plugins you have. And I feel that if you dedicate a lot of time, you don't need to invest too much money. Because what, does a, what do you need on a website, actually? Very simple stuff. I, the problem I had is I had a very big website, but I had to redesign my website. So that makes it complicated. But when you are starting, you can start very simple. Yes. Uh, when you're redesigning your website, who do you get to give you feedback? And you know, how do you handle feedback? Obviously, you get, you might get conflicting opinions about what things look like or how they work. Thank you. Very good question. So I was at the WordCamp, and I immediately got a lot of feedback from developers and designers, and they were giving me all their opinions. But we need to use our discrimination power because everybody has a different viewpoint and they have no clue as to what you're going through and what your future plans are with that website. So my advice is listen to all the feedback you can, 
but then you have to sit with yourself and decide what changes are really important with your website and uh, what feedback from the ones that you're receiving are actually uh, applied, can actually be applied to your website. Because you are ultimately the one who knows the most. So I would require meditation in inner feedback. This is a very good question. So one of the issues that I heard in the WordCamp was that, hey, you don't have Google Search Console, you don't have Google Analytics, da 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 da. And I'm like, oh my God, now Google. <laughs> Google wants to get my information. And I was quite biased on that. But in the end, I added Google Search Console and I can see a, a difference. Yeah, I'm able to now have much more information than I had before. But I repeat what I said before, what I said earlier that we need to go very slowly. So the first thing I did was having Google integration, WooCommerce integration. Then I added Search Console. I forgot to add it in the timeline, but I added Search. Oh no, it was in the timeline. And with that, slowly, slowly, the analytics are breaking up. However, I'm aware that more traffic is needed in my website. But we have to keep in mind that my website was very bad, and it's only two months that's been good. So to answer the other question you had, yes, there has been an increase. More people have entered. And what I have noticed is an increase in my Amazon page. My books have been selling a lot. So maybe my website was a good uh, display, uh, window display for those people who, are, who want to know more about me. It doesn't necessarily you don't have to necessarily sell directly through your website, but you're getting noticed because your website now is more in tune with what your message is, with what you are. So having a consistency between what you are selling or what you are talking about or, or what you have or what you just are, having a consistency between that and your website is very important. And I was not, I was not fulfilling that um, in the past. Did I answer your question? No, I was, I was just also wondering, did you say my sales increased 10% from um, 2016 to 2017, or to 2015 to 2016, or, you know, any, anything like that? Uh, those, so I have not calculated those because I'm a recent author. My first book was launched in 2015. Now we are in 2017. So although I have seven books altogether, I'm a recent author, so I'm still not very much known except for um, the uh, two new, so there, you know the bestseller that you saw in Spanish? That is a success, it's been bestseller list two years, but then there is another one in Spanish that has become a hit. I can see the, tra the, um, the results on Amazon, and it's up there all the time. It's called, for those who speak Spanish, Nueve Practicas Que Cambiarán Tu Destino. So this book has been very successful as well. Um, I do not have exact percentages, but what I've noticed is that having a nice website is like having a nice and clean shop. Yes. So I decided for the moment not to use breadcrumbs and to just go with, um, so this is the way I'm doing my website. I'm going really slowly. So let's say for example, let's say for example that um, Yoast Premium gives me a whole list of posts to do internal linking. Uh, this is new to me because I just uh, had Yoast Premium going on according to my timeline. We have it here, you see Yoast. I got it in um, July 9th. So it's only about not even two months. And I'm doing so many other stuff in parallel. So every time I write a post, I'm just making sure that my internal and external linking is fine, that I'm getting a green button. So I want to excel first in one area before I get to another one. So I try not to take too much at a time. I, excel, I learn something, I master something, and then I go to the next. Breadcrumbs is on my waiting list. 
Yes, but I don't, I'm not using five, I'm just using one because I find that every time I add a new keyword, again, I need to get that green button going. <laughs> it takes a lot of time. And because I post often, I cannot, uh, so those are not one of the, um, one of my requirements. So I'm focusing on the simple stuff that will give me a position on Google, that will give me a ranking. So many times what happens with Yoast is that you don't have to do everything they give you, but if you just focus on a couple of things that are important to you, you really leverage their plugin. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes? You mentioned that uh, one thing you liked was having a look at the store. What what type of features have you used? Have you already used that? Sorry, can you repeat that again? One click the store, I think, was a feature that you said was uh, of interest to you. Uh, uh, Which is store? One, one click the store. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So basically, every time I communicate with them, they're like, I'm like, you know, I'm doing all these changes and I'm retheming now my website. I'm going to lose all my stuff. To me, it was very important to have a backup. Before I had Jetpack, I was with Updraft Plus, with Dropbox. I was like with my backups all over the place. And in the end, I wasn't sure what I was doing. So when Jetpack offered me WordPress, I had now nothing to worry because they're taking care of everything like this. In the pictures I showed you earlier, I put it back on, you can see that um, the backups are done daily for me. And this brings me a big sense of calmness that anything I'm doing can be restored. With one click means clicking the button, that's it. But to, to answer a more advanced question, nothing has happened yet, so I haven't had to do the one restore, but I have had several answers uh, assuring me that that could be a uh, two, 300% possibility. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.